Good evening. This is the Raleigh Water Board meeting. Today is Tuesday, February 3rd, 2015. Time is uh, 6.02. President Stu Dazell, Tim Toomey, Mary Beth Weiser, myself, Roy Rucker. I'd like to call the meeting to order. Shut this thing off, I'm going to listen to it. Let me call you right back, I'm in a meeting, Nancy. Um, just a reminder, if I could ask everyone to please put their cell phones and vibrate, <laughs> like I did. <laughs> First up on the agenda, the citizen's query from 6.05 to 6.15. Not 6.05 yet, go to the next one. <clears throat> so, so we just move on and then go back to it? Then you open it up at 6.05. Right, um, approval of the minutes, Stewie has asked for us to put that off for a... Uh, I'll approve June 24th, I, I just read them, but the other two, all right. I didn't have time to read them, I'll take them over. So you want to accept and approve the minutes of June 24th, 2014? I'm still looking at Okay. Timmy's doing that and come back? Please. Okay. Uh, the rest of our minutes. Old business. Budget update. Mary Beth will update the wood. Uh, this is a latest printout from the um, town accountant. Uh, she printed it out yesterday, February 2nd. And uh, right now, if you look at the top part where it says Water Department Operating, we're um, still in really good shape. Uh, we're at 61% remaining of the budget. So, we're spending money, but we're being frugal. Can, uh, can, I, can I get a look at the, uh, the budget that has more detail on it? You know, the uh, budget that we work on, the... Uh, you mean what we department. spend? What we spend? The detail. There's a detailed budget. This this is too general for what I like to look at. So, the next meeting, can you get the detailed budget? Well, you see the detailed budget when you sign the warrant. You sign the warrant twice a month. That's the detail of what we spend. Yeah, but where where are we with those various categories on the detailed budget? Well, it's in, it's with the account numbers. It's got the account numbers. Well, I mean, let me get so the so if we purchase something. For um, for like for an, an engineering operation and labor, if we whatever when you sign the bill warrant, if it was for say Weston and Sampson contract operations or something, or we it comes underneath the budget number. So all the budget numbers, the uh, account numbers, they're on the budget that you sign. Well, this is in particular what I like to look at. This is the. Uh the forms, various forms we use when we work up the budget, like last year. Yeah, you've seen this before, right? Yeah. May I see that, Mr. Toomey? Let me just, uh, I want to look at this before I hand it over. This is, provides the detail that I have to see. Citizens' Quarry can be open. Hmm? You open up Citizens' Quarry. Maybe um, you can make the clock. 605. Yep. Can I, I, I'll take it and then I can do it right after the meeting and then I'll give it back to you. I'm not sure what those are. If that's something for budget preparation, that isn't something that I would be doing on a regular basis throughout the year. Those look like the, um, when it comes time to prepare the budget, those are the spreadsheets. Well, these are the, um, the backup to the main detail that you provide us every so all this the backup for this is this I, I don't think yeah. so yeah that's, that's what that doesn't look like a peach tree um, account we do our accounting in the peach tree yeah that looks like an just an Excel, Excel spreadsheet that yeah this is the operating budget that was prepared by by the previous administration um, and was submitted 
for approval. This isn't something that we that I do like all year long. This is uh, this is what the previous uh, acting superintendent or the primary operator or somebody submitted. Well, we did this every year. You'll see that. I'm going to be done. doing this now in preparation for the budget, but. Um, this is not something that is done as part of this, as far as the accounting throughout the year. Yeah. This is um, this is actually in my computer as it is, and it's untouched. This is what was presented uh, to the board for the budget. Right. I don't use this throughout the year. I'm going to be using this when I sit down to give the board the budget to review and approve or not. Yeah, I just I would like you know instead of looking at this, I'd like to see this and that, an updated version of that. But, there, but this isn't. This is like the budget that was submitted, the original budget. Nothing gets done with this. Yeah, but there are, there it, are it, items in this that... Uh, that it's in know. the peach tree. It's two yeah. separate things. This is in my computer. Well, are you still using peach tree when you're doing the accounting? Yes. The, okay. But I don't so, use the peach tree. That's If you okay. want a specific report... Well, uh, Sue Bailey is very proficient in peach tree. Maybe she could, you know, just print it up for us, you know? Right. So, yeah. um, so you're wanting... <coughs> Um, every are you looking for everything that we purchase? Well, I'd like to see that updated version right there. That that's all based on what we did spending last year. Okay. Well, well, well you know, we're, we're spending too much time on it. What I'd like to be able to do is take a look at that with respect to where we're at with that more detailed budget. I'm so asking you the question so I can get you what you want, and I'm telling you, this has nothing to do with what we do to conduct business on a day-to-day -day operation. This report was the final product that was submitted to the board, that was approved and voted on, and what we are now currently operating under. Yeah. This is like something, this is what the superintendent does. I, this doesn't get updated throughout the year. I, I'm trying to ask the questions because um, there are reports that can be generated, and I, I guess I could um, work with Brigida um, and, and try to get a detail. I'll present it to you, and if it's not what you're looking for, then I guess um, we'll just have to work until I can find pull the report you're looking for. But this is not something that gets updated. This is the official budget where the numbers come from, which we operate. Yeah, but I, I, the, yeah, we're kind of confused. The, the, that's, I'm not confused. The, the, the information that they put into those check warrants goes into that program. No, yeah. that's in Peachtree. That's not Peachtree. The billing isn't billing, the billing program associated with, not the billing program, but isn't all that stuff associated with this Peachtree program? That's not Peachtree. That's just re regular Excel spreadsheets in the computer. Okay. I can pull something together, I'll get it to you, and then you can let me know if that's what you're looking for. So do we still have, do we still have these sheets in our computer database? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to, I want to get a copy of that, where we are right now. Can we move on to the citizen's query from 605 to 615, we're at 16 <coughs> and 610 right at the moment. Do you have any citizen's query? We don't have to well, somebody can say something for another five minutes. But we can move on to That's, something else, right? You're right. right I'd like to move on to the old business, the, the Bridgeport disposal update. Mary Death will update the wood. Um, at the last meeting, we talked about disposal of the Bridgeport, and um, we came up with a dollar figure that would be acceptable if we had any offers. Um, I asked the um, laborer to assist me with this, and he has given me a memo which I'd like to read to the board. Uh, per your request, I have advertised the Bridgeport for free on Craigslist. I have had multiple inquiries and have had one gentleman come in to view the machine. I accepted a sealed bid from him and have his contact information and date stamped on the envelope, which you are now in possession. I have it right here. I will update and renew the advertisement and follow up with previously interested parties this week. Please let me know if the Water Board will be requiring all bids to be sealed and what the final acceptance date on the bids will be. So we, um, we've been, this has been out there for about a month. We've had, we had several phone calls, but nobody has uh, actually come through. So how much time did you want us to spend on collecting, you know, bids for the, for the, for the Bridgeport? Um, did you want 
three, five. Um, I don't know what's in here because it's sealed. We did it that way because wasn't sure, and I figured we could open it up at the, one of our board meetings. But we're just looking for a little more direction on um, what level of effort do you want us to go through. Um, I'd like to see three bids myself. Okay. How, how long has this been on Craigslist? Um, our last meeting, January 13th. Okay. I believe. So it's roughly, you know. A month. Three months, three weeks. Yeah. Month. Okay. So we'll continue until we get three bids and then <laughs> just hold on to this until I get three bids and then I'll bring it before the board. Okay. We can move on to the next one. All right. All right, we, trash. Excuse me, we, we reserved we reserved the right to accept one of the three or reject them if we're not satisfied. Yes, but you but you set a criteria that you would be willing to to the you would be willing to accept a um, a certain dollar value. So if the bids came in above that, then you you know you. Could, oh, that's fine. But yeah. I mean, if somebody came in, but we don't have to vote on that. A couple right? hundred dollars, not, please. Not, right. not not until I get the three bids. Okay. Right. okay. And what? Trash disposal revised cost table from the 113 2015 meeting. I'd like to save something. There. Currently, trash removal is forty dollars a month, or four eighty a year. The new trash rate, if the board wants to continue with the existing contract of a trash hauling, will be $60 a month or $720 a year. The increase will, in cost will accommodate the additional bag of trash generated from the water department plant. Jim. At the last meeting, there was an honest mistake made. Our superintendent had a lot on her plate, and Mr. Cook. He bills every six months, so it's 40 times six, 240. And, and Beth thought that was for a month, just I an honest it, mistake. And I he, thought and it he gets, was. He gets $40 a month, and he'd like to go up to 60 because he's yeah. picking up extra rubbish now because of the new plant. Yeah, I, I would like to apologize for that. I actually thought it was $60 a pickup. So I misread the invoice, so that was a, a huge a taller difference. I'd like to make a motion to continue with the existing trash hauling contractor. Can I get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Water lien update on collections. Mary Death will update the wood. Uh, to date, we have collected $27,890 dollars and 46 cents. 27 what? 27 46 cents. So I just want to let the board know that we did receive um, some revenue and uh, we'll be continuing to collect that money, but this is our latest report as of um, February 2nd. So more could have come in today. But I just wanted to let you know we are getting some of that um, money back. Was twenty-seven thousand sold to us? Yes. What was it uh, three weeks ago? Um, I have to apologize. I, I gave the file to uh, one of the operators to add the liens up, and I didn't have a chance to run over and get the get the file. It wasn't. I believe substantial. Before. It was very substantial. Yes. I believe it was one hundred six thousand yeah, at the last meeting. Yeah, I think meeting. it was one hundred six thousand. Yes. Okay. Twenty-seven came in. Okay. That's good. Um, 74, 76 Hammond Street update, Mary Beth Wood. Okay, so uh, we had, the board had asked, uh, voted to have me change the water meter out at um, 74, 76 um, Hammond. Um, and I attached, I included in the packet because I wanted to just let you see the, the level of effort that had gone into um, trying to accommodate the customer and um, in some of the other issues that have come up with with the with the water bills um, and, and um, so I just wanted you to, to see it's in your packet um, I have not changed out the water meter uh, initially we made yet we made contact um, with the customer and um, wanted to go over to help them better understand the usage report so they could understand the consumption um, Penajuk emailed the customer um, the usage report so that they could both be looking at the same thing at the same time. 
Um, the customer never got back to uh, Panachuk uh, to go over that. Uh, to go over that, and then some other issues had come up with the um, with their water bill, um, and one of the issues I think I had mentioned that um, that's a customer that mails mail two checks, and um, I ac I accidentally misplaced one of the checks. We 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 and we squared that away. We made some adjustments on the account for that because that was my fault. Um, and then um, there's been some issues with the discount, and then um, they actually uh, shorted a payment, which generated interest. And so it's all, it's all there in the packet. You have this. It goes step by step. Every transaction that was made on the account. So you guys are still working on it. We're still working on that, but I just wanted to um, um, update the board, you know, as to the level of effort that um, has been going on to, to try to accommodate and assist this customer. Um, next is the rate setting, approval, and sign the Tara and Howard contract. David and Howard. At the last meeting, we um, we had a gentleman from Tate and Howard um, who is a new a new new to Raleigh, so I had asked them to come and introduce themselves, talk about the project. Uh, Mr. Toomey had brought up he would like to review all three proposals. So the next day, you all came in and picked up your, your packages. And um, to, we tabled it to bring it back to the next meeting um, to, to take a look and vote for the rate study. Vote for the rate study and sign the contracts. Anybody have a comment? I don't think it's worth it. I think it's 12500 for a rate study, and you look at the proposals, and there's not much detail there what you're actually paying for. I, 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 I looked at the... We spent $3,000 before. But we didn't really get a rate study. It was a... Well, we did get a rate study. It wasn't a rate study. Yeah. The, rate, the rates were uh, tailored on our budget, and then that's what we got. We got, you know... I, I just feel that, that what we had done before was not a complete study. It wasn't a complete study because it didn't take into consideration the capital expense for the water department at all. There was no capital expenditure in um, the other one, and that's a lot of level of detail that goes into the report. Excuse me, I, I remember seeing a, was a page and a half last year that, um, on that. That wasn't a rate study. That was... Um, Cost analysis, really. Cost analysis, yeah. <coughs> that wasn't a... You know, so why do we need a rate study? It was done in four days. Yeah, that wasn't our, that was, how much did we spend last year? 3,100 of my rate. 3,100, I mean, that's not a, that's not a rate study. Yeah. I mean, all three proposals came in within $1,000 of each other. So it's not mm -hmm. like, you know, they were, they were all in the same ballpark. And they're all the proposals, they're all, you know, going to I mean, since I've been on, I don't think we've had a real good rate study yeah. myself, you know, from. At, at, at the, uh, municipal light or I have a rate study book. It should be this thick. It's about that thick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With you know all detailed. So Yeah, I'd like to see what the, the finished product would be. because I, I can't see what the benefit is. Twelve thousand five hundred for well, a rate study when we I, I, I off the top of my head I can't remember, but it, you know it's significant amount. Yeah. I mean it's a lot of detail that goes into a, a, into a rate study. And again it's well what do they have in there as far as they have what Cap she mentioned capital expenses for the future. And yes, how to the find projections they checked out. Yeah. It, it, it's very detailed. Well, we've we've looked at uh, in the past uh, what the Paul memory I, mean, I would, is I would have cut the, the electric departments because I was I had it on my yeah. countertop. I just moved it. Well, I'd like to see that before I vote on it, but you know. I'm going to vote no. You want to see the light departments? Yeah, I want to see what a, okay. a rate study that we're talking about for that kind of money. Because okay. to me, it's it's basically look at the budget, sure. look at what your future expenses are. Yeah, I'll, uh, you can look at the one I have for the light, the light department. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not a, a it's, demanding it's thing. Probably, we have to it's do probably a like 120, 100 pages, maybe. Yeah. So anyway, do, we, do we figure this for a budget for this fiscal year, too? or? Well, when we at our last meeting, um, I uh, it mentioned that we could do the we could do it now, and take it out of the uh, emergency and unforeseen. There's plenty of money in that line item, 
or if the board wishes, we can put it off and I can put it in um, my proposed budget to the water board for the next fiscal year. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to hold you up with, with your budget if we hold it off till the next meeting? Um, It'll yeah. go on to next year if we... No, you mean to, to, to vote on that? No, we can, I can provide the board with the additional information and... For the next meeting. And you can vote next time or not, whatever okay. the board wants. Mm -hmm. Is that all right with yeah, you? Yeah, that's fine, Mr. sure. Mr. Chairman? Boy. Could I just yeah. say that if you don't do a rate study, the state, when we submit budgets to taxes and stuff, they want, they want to see that your rates are going to cover your expenses. Exactly, but he, he wants to go over the... But that's all part of the right. budget process, so that somehow when you guys come up with a budget, and I'm assuming it'll be capital costs and things like that, if the current rates don't account for that, the rate study gives you a basis for increasing the rates or the need to increase that, the rates. That's why I asked Mary Beth if she could hold off to the next meeting. The She's time is of the essence here because we're starting to do, everybody's starting to do budgets for next year. And I think the rate study from the last meeting was going to take 12 weeks or something, so. 120 days. 120 days, so. You know, it, there, there is a time frame here for you people to know what the rates need to be to cover. Are you, are you all set with that or you want, you want to try and vote on it tonight? Well, I'd like to comment on that. It's that uh, we've been doing this this way with this um, type of analysis for the last, I don't know, 10 years. We've never had a rate study done before, and so the state uh, the, causing a problem with the state as far as backing up our budget is we've been doing it right along there. But you've got a whole new operation going up there that, that last year was a pure guesswork as to what the costs were going to be. Now you're going to have some data to begin to to do this and if you want to professionalize what you're doing I think. Uh, well the only capital expense would be the, um, you, the Paul you know membrane. What the, rate should be. the Paul membrane is the only capital expense in right. the future for that. What about main replacement? You'll find a lot more than that. Yeah. What about water main replacement, vehicle fleet oh, upgrades? Th that was always figured in. That was figured in before. There's no way that that rate study included a water main replacement program. There's no way. Well, th there was numbers used in that uh, budget preparation that covered uh, water main replacement, and hydrant replacement, and equi uh, capital equipment replacement for the last, you know, several years. So. Um, I can I, see. I uh, remember at, for, at, during budget season, waiting and waiting. The last couple of years, when I was chairman of the board, waiting mm -hmm. for for the figures to come down from the water department. Well, in several in several times we waited, and, and mm -hmm. formulas came over. Well, the formulas didn't come over on the spreadsheets. Right. There was there was some uh, software. Uh, uses of different kind of programs that nobody could understand, so. It's, it's basic Excel I think it should be done thoroughly. So I, I, I would suggest, I mean, especially going forward, you can't, fly, you can't fly this department by the seat of its pants. I know, I can't object. I'm not suggesting that. Well, I, I, I'm not I, suggesting that. Well, going forward, going forward we have a $21 million, uh, make the motion. $12 million dollar plant down there, yeah. plus uh, everything else we're you know, we're working with here. In, in Factored in, in the budget last year was the capital improvement plan, which we put on hold. We didn't decide to do it because we wanted to keep the rates down. So, yeah, if you're going to raise the rates, then you should have this uh, study done. But I'm, I think that uh, it. Well, you don't know. This you, is you, a, you, what the rate study is going to show you is going to project out and, and show you what you need in the future. I don't think you should just fluff fluff this off. I, I'd like to make a motion to have... The proposals we got aren't that detailed. They're just, they're going to do this, and it's just all, you know, a lot of boilerplate in those proposals. But take, a, take a look at the proposals. I'd like to have a motion to have uh, Darren Howard to deal, to deal conduct a rate study for the water department. No, no, but it's the... It's the I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. Okay. No, I'm just saying, I'd like to make a motion to have Tanya and Howard conduct a rate study for the water department. Can I get a second? That's still a little bit of by a hundred dollars. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. I'll second it. All in favor? Get this done thoroughly. Uh, I'm voting no. 
I will write. So with that, if I could ask the board to um, sign the contract so that I can um, get in touch with Tater and Howard and we can Get it going. I mean, budget season's coming up. We gotta get it done. If you could eat, um, there's two copies. We'll keep an original and an original will go back to Tater and Howard. Thank you. This two, did you sign the other? The same thing. Yeah. So another one for you. Okay. Right. Sorry, trying to rush things off. Sue and I both got to go work on some removal time. Okay. The one thing I did want to bring up that um, was an important part uh, mentioned from Tater and Howard is that this is a not to exceed. So if the if when it's all said and done and we get the final product and it's eighty five hundred, that's all we're gonna be built. It's a not to exceed. Mr. Truman, if you would like to sign. He, he said he wanted to sign. Oh, okay. But he said he didn't want. No, I, I voted no. Okay. So you only need two signatures. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, new business. You all set soon? Move on. Yes. A uh, request for abatement for 204 Dodge Road. The board will review. Yes, um, in your packet you have an abatement application from 202 Dodge Road. Um, this customer, uh, 204, was, right? I'm sorry. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. 204 Dodge Road. Uh, this customer actually received a leak letter, um, from the water department and, um, is requesting an abatement, um, based upon, um, the letter. Um, they have had the, um, the repair done. Um, the last page in the application is the, um, usage history for Dodge Road. Um, and when we ran the abatement calculation, um, it was uh, an abate requesting an abatement for thirty-seven dollars and four four cents. Um, we have another abatement which we'll talk about in a minute, and um, you'll see the difference. It's my recommendation to the board that you don't grant the abatement for two hundred four Dodge Road, um, based upon if you look at the usage history. It's, it's, it's pretty consistent. Uh, we have a usage history from uh, going back to uh, January of 2013. We usually go back a whole year and look at the, um, the history. It's my recommendation not to grant this uh, abatement for this particular. Do uh, so, Tim have any comment? I'm reading a letter from the uh, property owner. I just want to rem you know remind everyone that the letters we're sending out, based upon you know that special feature that the water meters do, it's a courtesy a courtesy letter to just say hey you know you have a leak you might want to fix it, um, and otherwise you know it is the customer's responsibility to pay for water whether it's used or wasted. It's in the um, water department. Mine went from 124 to 27. And you fixed your leak and you and your water bill dropped, and um, almost 100 dollars. Yes. So it is a, a cost savings and a benefit for the customer to fix, um, fix the leak. Um, so that's what the let, letter was all about. It wasn't about to, um, you know, um, come back. I mean, if, as you'll see with the next abatement, there'll be a, it's a dramatic uh, change. So 
it's whatever the board wishes to grant the abatement or or not. Thing I'm, com I'm uncomfortable with here is uh, the meter was read on 11:26, and the letter was typed sent uh, December 22nd. I have actually since spoke with Penn and Chuck regarding um, the time frame of getting these letters out. Um, a lot of the customers that are on these leak reports, they repeat. They keep getting letters. Um, they repeat. We actually um, have been trying to um, even expedite in your packet. There's a photocopy of the door tag I, re I hand wrote out so we could tag the door. Um, some people are just, um, you know, are, are not paying attention to the letters. Um, it's going to the same addresses that the water bills are going, so I'd imagine that the customers are getting them. But I've been using these door tags. That's a, that's an excellent idea, right there. They open the door, they see it. Well, we don't open the door. We put it on no, the. No, I mean, know that. Outside. But when they turn the knob, yep, it's they right see there. it. Yep. That's what I meant. And it's blue, so you can't miss it. But if you look at the historical usage for the account, it's pretty consistent. Um, there isn't anything that really stands out. What will change at the usage is, is the number of days in between the read cycle. So if you look, you know, um, we, have, we have 34 days, which would make it appear that there's more usage. Then we have some days that there's 27. So, but the usage, if you look at the, it's, it's pretty consistent. And the, her average water usage is um, 7,700 uh, gallons over the course of um, the past year. Per month? That's per month? It's the average of the whole year. But is it a month average or is it? Year. A year average, right? yep. 7,000? Oh. But all the usage is there for the whole year. Okay, so you recommend that we don't grant this? Yes, okay. that's my recommendation. That the board can um, vote how, how yeah. they want. So I have a motion for this. Problem was a frost free hydrant. And when they uh, leaking, I, I, I have one new car. Uh, was it coming up two years ago? A uh, year and a half ago, my leak, and uh, I said nothing paid the bill. You had a leak, you fixed yours, yep. paid the bill. Do I have a motion for? What's your opinion, Tim? I, uh, I, I haven't had to go along with the uh, superintendent. Uh, I think that that's her recommendation. I think I'm going to go with her. Thank you. So I have a motion to go stand as is. Do I have a second? Second. Oh, oh, okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Next one is a request for abatement for 202 Havel Street. Yes. Um, this, this truly was a leak. Um, if you look at the last page in that handout for the abatement, um, this was a leak that had gone on um, for quite a while. Um, I believe the customer wasn't aware. 
We also attached uh, pictures um, of what happened, and um, he's requesting an abatement in the amount of seven hundred and thirty-three dollars and nineteen cents. And I, my recommendation that the board grants the abatement. So it was it was on our, our, our side. Oh. No, it was on the customer side. They they were unaware they were unaware of it, and this customer has actually paid their paid the bill. They paid the water bills in full, so we actually owe, would owe them. So when they found out they had a leak, they took they took care of it right away. Okay. Yep. I'll make a motion to grant that. Do I? We grant that. Do I have a second? Give me a minute. I'm not thrilled about it. This is a good example of why we have this uh, policy that there is unforeseen. This customer was gone for a way vacant from the property, um, had a leak, was unaware of the leak. As soon as they discovered it wasn't their fault, you know, it was um, a catastrophic because it goes beyond the leak. You know, you um, and, and that's why I recommend because this is this is what the abatement the process delete. for. Yes. The last out of the last maybe five or ten abatements we granted, still you know, a lot of these were just like this. Uh, that they, as soon as they found out that they had a leak, they granted it. For them. I have a motion. Second. I'll second it this time. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, Water Department Inventory, Mary Beth will update the board. Uh, back in December, um, we took an inventory of all the repair fittings, the meters, iron fittings, pipe, and um, the inventory is, is uh, extremely low. So um, when I'm going to um, prepare the budget, I mean, you'll see in these spreadsheets, there's a lot of, there's a lot of zeros um, in the spreadsheets, which um, they changed. Uh, one of the laws was changed for, um, for, for copper. It's uh, um, brass, I mean, um, the no lead law, and uh, which means that all of the brass stock that we had, we cannot use for anything. Um, so we are going to have to restock all of that brass fitting it and scrap value now. It's about $26,000 to fully stock the brass. That far I have gotten. How much do we have out there of brass? None. We, have, we, have, we don't have any inventory of brass. We have no inventory. No, we're not wasting the no, because we can't. Yeah, we can't use it. So we have no. We've been purchasing if we as something comes up, but if we need something at two o'clock in the morning, there's not right. a 24-hour brass store down the street we can get it. So you, you don't have any out there at all. No. Okay. No. We have like one of something, you know, bits and pieces, but nothing actually goes together. It's okay. like miscellaneous brass, um, and. Um, I understand. So it's about twenty-six thousand dollars. Now, are you um, also keeping a spare hydrant now for an emergency? We have um, that's buried under the snow right now. I, th um, I think. I can't understand why. <laughs> there, uh, I think there are two or three hydrants. All right. So you do have a spare. Yes, we do. And as soon as we can, you know, we have to dig out the hydrants to get so, to them. So do you need a. Um, a vote on this? Or? No, I just want to let the board know, you know, as, as we're completing things and, you know, so you guys have an idea of what we're doing here. Okay. Um, I wanted you to be able to see um, what it was that we had. So when I come to, to the board with, with, with budget numbers um, for, for, for purchasing um, repair clamps and pipe and those kinds of things, um, you, you'll, you'll have an understanding why. Because it is budget season, so I'm going to be coming to the board. Um, 
when I get my pricing for all of this, um, and we can talk about further then. You all set with that. How did this inventory look compared to last year's inventory? Uh, the inventory, uh, nobody, ha there hasn't been any restocking. Um, it's like uh, uh, the inventory in 2012, there was a pretty good um, substantial inventory. And over the last couple of years, there's been no, we take, we've been taking, but not putting back. Okay, so how much inventory less do we have this year compared to 2012? Um, there were no zeros, I can tell you that. I can- Back then? Yeah, there were no zeros in there. There were, um, some of the numbers were, um, it had uh, 14, 24, 15, yeah. Um, even the even the pipe, um, I'm out of um, six inch ductile line pipe. We use the last of it on that main break on uh, Glen Ave across the street. We use, so I'm getting a price for a hundred feet of um, ductile line, six inch ductile, because that's what we have the most of. But right. I've got no pipe. So. Okay. Uh, 2014 annual water quality draft report. This is the uh, annual report that the water department is required to put out um, every year to their water customers. And I wanted the board to take a look at the draft report um, and a lot of, um, and see, um, see what the report looked like, um, if there was anything that you wanted me to add or, or, or not. But most of the language in here is required language and I can't change it even if you wanted me to. Um, there's a certain, um, it's part of the uh, drink, um, 310 CMR 22, the drinking water regs uh, that we do this. Um, the one thing that is in here is this is where we will notify the customer the official notification for the uh, four violations that we had. The four violations that we had for not sampling were a tier three violation and public notification in the annual CCR is adequate. So you'll notice on the first page, I put them right on the front. I changed the formatting a little bit. Um, we don't have to mail these to the customers, so um, this will be, um, we can put this on the web page, so there'll be um, a lot of utilities that, you know, they've, they've listened. The cost to mail these, even for the, even the larger utilities, it's through the roof for postage. So they, um, they've changed the regulation that allows um, you to put this on the website, but it has to be like on the front page. Somebody has to be there and it has to be in big bold letters. You, somebody, you can't click, click, click to find it. So as long as we put that um, right on the town's web page on our link, it says Rally Water, I can have the PDF version and we'll, we'll um, be in compliance with the regulation. And then we will have copies on hand um, here and at public buildings. And we'll also, also require the only other Thing we're required to do is to deliver them to like condos or uh, apartment buildings to the property manager because we don't have a lot of those individual addresses so we ask them to help us to give them out to the residents um, but i wanted you to see that that's what we've also been working on i'll start with that mm -hmm. review and approve revision of the refund policy. Mary Beth to discuss. We currently have um, a refund policy and I'm making a recommendation uh, for a change in some of the language. Um, in your packet you have um, the original, what the original was, um, and then the, the draft uh, with the edits. Um, it's bullet item number two in the policy. Uh, the original policy said, Refunds due to overpayment should be placed on a refund schedule and sent to the accountant for payment on the treasury warrant. The change that I'm proposing is, unless otherwise specified by the customer, a credit or refund shall be applied to the next bill. I agree with that. I'll make a motion we accept this, adopt this. And this, will this go into the uh, bylaws? Yes. Okay. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Secondary. Me. Unless somebody sold, sold, the pro sold the property, for example, and they were moving, they overpaid, then they'd have to get 
that check. Yes, unless okay. otherwise specified by the right. customer, it right. would go a credit or a refund would be back right. on there right. in the bill. Fine. Okay. All right, secondary containment report, superintendent review, very difficult to discuss. Um, we um, collect a lot of samples in the distribution system. It's a good way for us to check and see how we're doing with producing, especially with the new plant. The secondary contaminants um, in a water system are what they call um, aesthetics only. Uh, there are no health effects with the, if, if these um, contaminants are in the water. It's the iron and manganese, the staining of fixtures. Um, so with the treatment plant being online um, for about five or six months now, um, I thought it would be a good idea if the, for the board to, to be able to see the, um, the benefits um, of what's been going on since we've been treating the drinking water and to especially note the um, iron and manganese reduction um, in the distribution system. I also included um, a little spreadsheet on maximum contaminant levels for drinking water for both the primary, which are your health, uh, health issues, so that you could see um, when you were looking at the results, you would, you would have a key. You would know what you were looking at. So if you saw, you saw a number of 10, you know, for, for, a, for a parameter, you could see that it was, um, okay, that's below the MCL. Because they don't include that on the report. Um, but above in the first box up here, these are the, lo the sample locations where we took the samples so you can get an idea geographically in town um, and compare it to the results. And if you have a chance to look at this and you have any questions, you can certainly call me. I'd be glad to go over it in any detail or answer any of your questions you might have. Is there any trends that uh, you could pick up? No, um, maybe the next go around. This is the first full, uh, full scale secondary I, we just did in January. So um, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, it's not required, but we're going to be doing this quarterly. And then I can, um, Put some spreadsheet together, Mr. Toomey, and we can. And that way, we'll have a, a nice clear-cut spreadsheet we can take a look at, and then you'll be able to see trending, if if there's any. So this is uh, the January 15th, the January 21st sample. Uh, date. And January 28th. Yeah, you got the couple of different dates here. Yep, these were the dates that were. That's the date that it was. They were analyzed on. Who, who were the uh, ones last year? Is that available? Um, I don't. Didn't, have they, didn't they sample these last year? These locations. The I'd, have, I'd have to look and see what what was sampled last year. Yeah, like I'd be curious to see what the uh, results were from before when they turned the train, the plant on and what they are now. Probably annual time report draft review. Um, every year the town puts out an annual report and um, each department is asked to uh, submit um, an overview of what went on in the department for um, the past year. And um, I had uh, drafted up um, something for the board to take a look at. Um, I, I, but this has to come from you, I guess. Normal, I'm used to the, usually it comes from me, but the board, the water board, I guess, has so to do this. This is something you want us to look over? I need you to, this meeting. is due like yesterday. Right. <laughs> um, so, I was going to include some additional information that wasn't in. I saw what was submitted last year, and um, if there's room, and if there is, I'd like to include um, some of the, um, I've expanded um, you did have a little statistical data um, chart in there, um, but I've broken it down uh, and expanded on it um, to include the distribution, which is, you know, gate valves repaired, main brake service leaks, hydrants. But then I also put in some information on the treatment plant mm -hmm. um, and then the individual wells. And over time, um, what is always good um, is to compare. Um, so I'm going to. We're not going to do it this year because um, the records are all over the place that we're having um, difficulty finding all of this for 2013. We have bits and pieces that I could put in. 
But what I'd like to see going forward, and I know we have all the information for 2014, is to put in 2014 and the next year when we prepare this report, have 2015 and then you can compare. And you can see, well, we produced this much water in 2015 as compared to 2014. We had this many service leaks, and you'll be able to see as a comparison, which is always a, a good thing. Okay. Um, the other thing that I wanted to put uh, add in here is um, the water production um, by the treatment plant and by the individual wells. Uh, so we're uh, in the process of, um, I actually, we actually had it, so I actually um, put it in. It's at the very last thing in your packet. This is what I'd like to um, put in the report, if there's room. Mr. Toomey, I think you'll find this report um, very useful. This is some of the information that you had been asking for. So yeah. um, this is a complete, complete year for 2014. Um, we've got it in one place. So um, this, is the, this is the kind of report that I want to report to the board when we meet. Um, this spreadsheet will be filled out going forward. This is going to be an ongoing thing. The primary operator is going to be recording all of this information on this, and, um, and I will be reporting to the board on this going forward. This will be on the agenda. And, and, um, and each month, we'll have, um, we'll have uh, you'll be able to see uh, the total year to date what we've produced for water, the max day in that time period, the min day and the average day. Um, and then you'll also see how many d number of days that each of the sources have been online and pumping. So I think, I think you'll find this very useful um, going forward. The other um, thing I'd like to put in is, um, we're in the process of, of getting this data right now, is um, the department chemical costs. Um, a spreadsheet um, is also in there that goes by month. It's similarly set up like the um, for the pumpage, but this is also um, when you're asking, you're talking about tracking and looking at things throughout the year. These these tools, I think, you'll find very useful. I think these yeah. going forward, you'll have answers to a lot of the questions because I'm going to be including the cost per million gallons. So you'll be able to see in the month of January what it costs the water department per million gallon to treat the water. So with, do with the actual dollar amounts. So you'll be able to start seeing that. Um, and the same thing with the um, electricity usage. That was, um, you know, kind of like we went yeah. back and forth on that. But I think the spreadsheet will be very useful to have it all in one place. That's good. Um, I, I need to submit this to the town administrator um, this week because they have to uh, organize the book and get it to print because I believe this has to be done for town for town meeting in May, but it takes a long time to produce that report uh, with the editing and you know putting things okay, together. So you, you want this thing back uh, without comments on it? If I could. By, I know today's Tuesday, but if I could by um, Thursday, so that will give me like end of bu end of business day on Thursday, so that will give me Friday morning to um, make the changes, okay. additions, and I can get it to them. I, I, I'd appreciate that. I'll start with that. Yes. Number eight: review a monthly bill by tiers. Mary Beth will discuss. So going back to um, budget and budget preparation, um, this is one of the um, reports that uh, we asked uh, Penichuk to do, which um, was not in their scope of work, um, and they and they went ahead and did this for us. This is um, there's two different reports. The first report is um, an explanation of the Raleigh usage by increment, which is the tiers. And it shows, and this report is, um, is broken down by rate structure, and each category is broken down into 500 gallon increments. Each range has a number of accounts that fall into that category, which includes the average usage for that line. So if you look at it, um, we, have, we have 24 accounts that are showing no usage. Uh, we are in the process of investigating that. It's a very time-consuming process. Um, 
you know, getting access to taking a look at the water meter. Um, if it's, in fact, a faulty meter, we need to change. So it's, um, it's very time consuming, but we are on top of that because we don't want to have any zero usage. Um, the next category is one to 4,000 range. That's the lowest tier. And there are uh, approximately 1,200 accounts um, that fall into the tier one. And then the tier two, there are 577 accounts that fall into the tier two and 18 accounts that fall into the tier three. So when we're talking about budgeting and predicting um, you know, water rates and usage, these are the kinds of things that are very important when I have to look into a crystal ball and predict what we're gonna use next year for water. So that's part of the budget process. So these reports, um, will be very useful and they're very accurate. Um, it's all on, on the customer information. The other report breaks it down by dollar amount. How much, um, how many gallons. So for example, the example I used in the explanation was the um, April uh, 10th billing of 2014. That's when Penichuk began the services. So the records like this start when they, when they um, res uh, um, assisted us with the customer service. So. The April billing of 2014, we sold um, about 5 million gallons of water and brought in about $78,000 in revenue. Um, and that's in the Tier 1 category. In the Tier 2 category, we, we sold two, approximately 2 million gallons of water and generated $35,000 um, in revenue. And there were 639 accounts that fall into the Tier 2. In the tier three, which is the larger users, that's the 36,001 and above, we, um, we sold 521,000 gallons of water um, and, may, and, re and revenue was about um, 10,000. So when the budget was done last time, last year, the, this current budget we're in, um, it was budgeted that the customers were all gonna fall in the tier two category. And that's what the budget was based on. But this report shows that the customers are not falling in the tier two. They're falling in the tier one category, which is um, the lowest category. So this report will, will, will assist me with better budgeting so that we don't have that shortfall and, 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 um, with the prediction. Because I think we're about $50,000, I think, we predicted, or something around there. Um, for, for, for revenue we were going to generate. And, um, you know, there are some other factors in there, but, um, but this report is, um, is, 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 is really good. So I wanted the board to be um, so aware of that. Could you uh, say that there are uh, people are practicing conservation? Well, I mean, it, it could be, a, it's a, con, 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 uh, I can't talk. Um, a combination of, a com, uh, I can't talk, water conservation <laughs> and, um, and um, you know, just uh, you know, people being you know wanting to be mindful of their their um, bills that come in. Um, I I really don't know what is in the thoughts of, of the water users as to where you know what they're using, their habits are. But um, I can't understand this uh, zero gallon usage. Is that many people on vacation or just not using water? Or? You said it's a time-consuming process to figure out why that's zero gallons. Well, because, it, okay, so what every, when we go out and read the water meters, um, it picks up every single water meter that is installed in, um, in a home in Raleigh. Yeah. Um, some, of, some people have private wells, but they also have a water meter in their house. So whenever we drive by and read the water meters, um, it's picking up the reading of that meter, and it's coming back um, no usage. Uh, prior, prior to... Um, well, I've only been here since August, but um, we're trying to get a handle on and code the accounts so that um, if, in fact, it is a customer that has a well and has um, private, uh, it has town water in a private well, and there's no cross connection between the two, um, uh, meaning that they can't have the option of, I'm going to switch from town water to my well by flipping a valve. You can't do that. Um, that it, you can have a private well, but it's got to be separate. 
We want to code the accounts so that when uh, we read the meters, we can generate a report that these are people that have a well and it's, it's, they have a water service with a water meter in the event their well fails, now they would go onto the town water. And, the, and it's set there as a, as a security, I would imagine, for, for that resident. But we have to, some of these actually are uh, no reads, Mr. Toomey, that we do need to get in and change um, meters out. And when um, several uh, letters have gone out, we've tagged some doors. These are some of these accounts will be on the shutoff list uh, for not denying access to the water department to change the water meter um, in April when, we, when we're tagging properties. I mean, this, uh, there are people Can using water on the next bypass of the meters? Or? We don't know if, we don't know if, the problem is, is we're not sure if the meter is faulty. So we need to get in and investigate. Yeah. If the account hasn't been coded that there's a well, we need to know that so that we're not we take them off the list that, yeah. you know, okay, they have a well, they're not using town water. So we're trying to code the account so that it makes it easier and it's just a little bit time consuming because we do need the cooperation of the customer to gain access. Mm. So, and we're doing this by sending them letters and um, some customers have called. We've, we've actually gone into at least three that I'm aware of recently in the last couple of weeks. Uh, one, a matter of fact, this afternoon we were able to get in at um, three o'clock appointment. So, we're, you know, as they come up and we're able to do this, we're, we're, we're checking it out. But some of them are no usage and there's something wrong with the meter. So you'd need to know that too. Revise the total. Are they old, excuse me, are they old meters or are they the new ones? No, they're the encoders, they're the new meters. Yeah. Yep. Do we have any more um, um, locations that need new meters or are they all finished with? Replacing that those meter well, meters. No, we're 100 percent radio read. Yep. Yeah. And then skip this one go that one. All right. Uh, Mr. Toomey, do you have a question? Yeah. has to leave to go to work. Um, I'd like to jump up to number 11. Um, I'd like to make a motion to renew the Penichek contract for customer service billing and collections. Can I get a second on that? What their, what their contract was is the option to go for the first year with more than it came down something that they don't want us to work out. You made the motion, I'll second it. All those in favor? Um, I'm gonna, um, I want to review this a little bit more, but it's, so if you guys want to vote on it. Any more than a second? I but I'd like to ask a question. Uh, why is it more money? Um, in the in your uh, packet, there um, is an explanation. I had wrote a letter to the um, Board of Selectmen and the Board of Water Commissioners with an explanation and my supporting the contract. Uh, Penichuk has gone out of their way. They did provide services to the town of Raleigh that were not in the original scope of work, and they did not charge us. Um, they would like to be compensated for those charges with the new, with the renewal of the contract. The original contract was fifty thousand dollars, and the um, increase for the renewal would be um, eight thousand for a total of fifty-eight thousand. Um, the board of selectmen have all unanimously voted and signed, and we're looking for the water commissioners to sign so that we can move forward. Currently, the uh, contract, I believe, is expired, and if we don't sign this, it's going to leave me in a bind. I would like to add to that. It was sixty-two thousand last year, and I believe it came down to fifty-one or two this year. So mm -hmm. eight more yep. thousand is still less than last year. Yep. It'd be about fifty-eight or fifty-nine thousand now. And there is money in the budget to cover this. What specifically did they do extra that they wanted to get extra money? Uh, well, they provide. Are they doing, they're going to be doing the extra thing now, or? No, they, they've been, they've been, number one, um, that tier report, this report was something that they had to, um, their, their uh, customer service software programs were not set up to do something like this. Um, they had to do a lot of programming yeah. to, this is a, a specific for Rowley. Um, they have provided me, they, they provide us with a customer service Monday through Friday from 7.30 to 5. Yeah. This is a bargain. 
for that type of customer service. So I, I support this, and I would encourage the board to vote in favor of this. You did? You did? No. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, Sue is going to leave. That's why we went. We jumped up on. Um, Revise the total car farm rule. We we'll discuss that. Just another um, change in um, operations. Uh, we have um, coming up down the line is um, re revisions for the total coliform rule. That's the um, the bacteria samples that we collect on a monthly basis. And um, I'll be um, developing a new staffing plan. I mean, <laughs> sampling plan to um, to comply with this regulation and putting that together and getting that off to the DEP. But I just. I gave you a copy of the letter I received with the rules so you could see what it was all about. You all set with that? Yep. Uh, Excuse me. That, that last, the contract was voted for a contract? Yes. yes, it was. Okay. Was just, okay. Due to the scheduling conflicts with the water superintendent and the chairman of the next water board meeting, we will have a meeting on March 3rd. I'm leaving and Mary Beth's leaving. Um, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. I'll make the motion we adjourn. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Don't look at me. Okay. Aye. <laughs> oh, we're going to go to work. <laughs>